The Civil War was a costly time in American history, especially around Fredericksburg, Virginia. It saw four major battles over three years, totaling over 107,000 casualties from both sides. Join my dad, my uncle, and me as we set out to know more about this troubled period, with passionate park rangers eager to tell us a story of when the North clashed with the South. Hi folks, my name is Jake Strahelka. I'm a historian here at Fredericksburg Spotsylvania National Military Park, and we are standing atop Marie's Heights here. And what we are going to be doing today is we're going to be doing an artillery demonstration. Where we stand in 1862 was a major part of the Confederate defensive position for the Battle of Fredericksburg. And on these heights, members of the Washington Artillery, a unit whose origin go back before the American Civil War, some would argue even to before the United States was the United States, stood on Marie's Heights with nine artillery pieces facing the city of Fredericksburg and oncoming Union forces. What we're going to witness today is going to be a demonstration of the artillery of the same type that would have been used by the Washington Artillery to support Confederate infantry in the sunken road and to make the ground that we now stand on impenetrable for Union forces. Well, I really enjoyed that. Oh, I did. That was fantastic. I just can't imagine a barrage of that going on all day. Yeah. You can. I can. I've heard uh, close to 2,000 rounds go out in the night. Back at the park headquarters, we got some intel on where my great granddaddy's artillery unit was located. Uh, the ranger has pointed out exactly where the battery of uh, Cooper's artillery was, in which uh, great grandfather Nathaniel Burrell took uh, as lieutenant. And he's going to show us on the map, and we're going to go see it. Telegraph Road again. Yeah. Uh, so uh, and Lee's over here, so it's, it's more. Our, yeah, our records indicate Mary Heights. Yeah. After looking through a dozen maps, we found the location within a few yards. This is a heavy siege gun that was brought up. One of the few times the Confederates used these big guns. It was pounding Fredericksburg across the river a mile away. Right from this site, uh, we have very close by the section led by Lieutenant Cook, our great-grandfather, and that would have been a gun similar to this one right here. Yeah, but what's really amazing about this being here is that we didn't know that our great ancestor was even here, right? Uh, well, until recently. Until I told you. You, you still oh. knew. <laughs> yeah, okay. I didn't know. That's the thing. This is a fun part. Come in and, and look for your ancestors. That's, that's the most, and when we can find something, that's even better. That's the passion part. Right. Because you love helping people and you love looking at the Civil War and it's great. And if you do need more information, the park, especially here, has so many resources available that even if we can't find it, we can get you in the right direction mm -hmm. and find uh, anything. And if we have it, we can find it. So right. It's, it's fantastic. 